Hello, Cedar Creek Kindergarten and sec through second graders. We are on day two of our striking. We'll be using our balloon again, but again, to challenge yourself, if you'd like to use a paper ball or a yarn ball or a tape ball, you certainly can do that. Remember, you could also use the old Ziploc bag, fill it up with air, and seal it tight. All right, so today, our activity is going to be focused around different parts of our body to be tapping the ball up, trying to control it, kind of like we did on the first day, where we can't take more than one step. All right? So here we go. Our first body part is using our fingertips, and we're going to use three different things. First, we're just going to use our pointer finger, then we're going to use our thumb, and then we're going to use, trying to do it with all five of our fingers with five different hits. All right? So here we go. Using our pointer finger, like yesterday, we'll try and do it five times in a row with our right, five times in a row with our left, and then five times alternating. All right? So here we go. Try to go one, two, three, four, five. And then catch it. I'm trying to do that three times in a row without missing. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, sorry, took one step, but still got it back to me to catch it. And then one final time. One, two, three. So again, trying to control it so it starts getting away from you. You might have to point it back to you to keep it close so you don't have to take more than one step. And one last time. Two, three, four, five. And we catch it. All right, now we use our left hand with our pointer finger. One, two, three, four, five. And got it. three times. Now we have to alternate. So we're going to go one time, toss, right, left, and catch. All right, we'll go up to five. So we'll go right, left, right, left, two, right, left, three, and catch. And then we'll try and do it five times in a row without missing. So we go right, left, Right, left, two, right, left, three, right, left, four, right, and five. Oh, I missed. So we gotta try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we catch it. Alright? So that would be. Pointer, thumb, one, two, three, four, five, and touch. And then one, two, three, four, five, and touch. And we gotta alternate. One, two, and touch. So just one time each, then three times each. One, two, And then five times each, which means ten total hits. And catch it. So that would be our thumb. Now we gotta cut touch it with each of our five fingers and then catch it. Then go to our other hand, touch with each of our five fingers. Catch it. And then we'll go thumb, thumb, pointer, pointer, ring, ring, middle, middle, ring, ring, and then pinky, pinky. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and catch. And then one, two, three, four, five, and catch. 
now the tricky part, all printing in hand. Enter. Ring. 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 And touch. And that would be our hand or our fingertips. We now move on to our knee, which could be a little more difficult. We're going to start with one time and catch the other knee. So we toss it up, bring our knee up, and catch it. And so I bent my knee, kind of like when we do our steam engines. So drop. Two steps. Here we go. I'm going to try and do it three times in a row. Drop. One. Oh. Let's try it again. You've got to keep it close to your body when you need up. So you got to bring your knee up really high. Two. Three. Ooh. Close. Two. Three. Catch. We'll go to the other side and try it with our knee. Do that three times in a row without missing. All right, then five times. Betcha. Doing a little video. <laughs> That's all right. Staying warm. <laughs> yeah, I don't need a participant. I'm trying to get through it on my own. <laughs>